All right, welcome back everybody. In this video, we will be touching on how to make sense of the analytics that MailChimp offers us and what we should take into account, what the kind of benchmarks are that we should be striving for and how we can use this data to better improve our campaigns. So I'm assuming if you're watching this video that you know how to use MailChimp, you know how to get your account set up, create your audiences, customize and design emails, create automations, etc. If you don't know all of that, then check out the two links below, video number one where we talk about our basics guide for beginners and link number two where we talk about how to set up automated drip campaigns and MailChimp automations. Now, if you're at this point, I'm assuming that you are sending out campaigns and you're trying to know what does what mean, what data should I be looking at, etc. So we're gonna start here on our dashboard. Now our dashboard shows us a few things. It shows us an audience overview. So is our audience changed in the last seven days? No, have we lost or gained anybody? No, our total audience size. And then we'll actually show us if we have any growth here and we can look at our sources. So we can see that 100% of our contacts are imported. This is a great place to know or to go where let's say you have a newsletter sign up and then you have a webinar and then you have a place on social media where they can sign up and you want to know which source is actually getting you the most signups to your MailChimp account and to your audiences. You can come here and it will actually show you the sources. Now campaign engagement. This is where we can see a graph over the last 7, 30 or a year. As far as our campaign engagement goes, we can see the opens, the emails delivered, the percent of delivered, the clicks, the percent of open, etc. And now we're going to go into a bit more depth here when we go to our campaigns tab. So in our campaigns tab, we can actually look individually at each campaign and see how that campaign did. Now, as we showed you in our basics for beginners video, on the main campaign page here, it shows you right off the bat what your open rate and click-through rate was. Now, a national average across all industries is about 15 to 22% for an open rate and about 1.8 to 2.2% for a click-through rate. So as far as the averages go, um, we're above average here, but of course these averages can change based on your actual industry. That is just the national average of everything combined, all industries, etc. Now, if we want to get a bit more in depth than just seeing our open rate and our click-through rate, we can actually hover over view report and go ahead and click that. So on the top here, we will see how many people it was sent to. We will see what audience it was sent to, the subject line, and when it was delivered. You can also view the email, download the email, or print the email and share the email. Now, as we go down here, it's going to show your campaign benchmarking. So this is basically showing you how you stack up to your competitors. So we can see that um, as far as unsubscribes go, on average we get a 0% unsubscribe rate. Our peers on average get a 0.4% unsubscribe rate. We can see some demographics here that over 60% are male, 45 and up, and we can see our audience size. Now you can change your industry and your settings, and this is what it's pulling um, the different data here from. So since this is manufacturing, it's pulling our peers data from anyone else who's listed their industry to be manufacturing. I don't personally know how accurate this data is. It's something that MailChimp's doing in-house and is a relatively new feature. So again, I can't speak for how accurate it is, but it is here if you want to see how you stack up to your competition. Now, here we have recommended next steps. This is a pro feature, so where you see Kind of these yellow things right here that means that they are pro features and this is basically giving us a tip saying hey you could go ahead and try out some ab email content etc we're not going to do that because what we're doing is working extremely well for this client as we go down we see an overview of the email we see our opens our clicks our bounce and our unsubscribed now here we have successful deliveries so 1124 which equals out to 99.9 percent .9 were delivered successfully. It's not 100% because we can see we did have one email bounce. Now a bounced email is it didn't get delivered successfully to the inbox due to a firewall or due to the fact that the email is not actually a real email and it was spam or a spam email rather. So total opens we can see we had 615. Last opened we can see that someone opened this today uh, just about 20 minutes ago here at 2.49 p.m. Eastern. We can see that zero people have forwarded it. 
we can look at our uh, clicks per unique opens. So this means that um, total clicks, we had 62, but click per unique open. So that's per person. Each person is considered, considered a unique open. So this does not take into account people who have gone ahead and clicked their email more than once. Last clicked, we can see someone clicked it about 30 minutes ago. We can see if anyone reported it as abuse, which they did not, which is always good. And then right here, we can check our 24 hour performance. We just sent this campaign today, so this is gonna look pretty blank. Now here we can see our top links clicked. So if you have multiple links in the email, it's gonna list them all out. Now this one is obviously getting the most traction. It's the only one getting clicks with 62. And that's because this is our call to action button. These other links right here are our little social icons down at the bottom, which we don't really expect to get clicked, but we do want our call to action button, which is showcasing this particular product to get clicked, which it did, which is fantastic. Now here we can see our subscribers with the most opens. So we can see that this subscriber is open to eight times. This person has opened it 47 times, which seems a bit excessive considering it was only sent about three hours ago. Um, 23, 15, 11, etc. Here we can see our top locations by Opens, United States, Canada, United Kingdom, France. So that's a basic overview. What you want to be mainly looking at are, of course, your open rates and your click-through rates. You want to make sure that you're ben setting the benchmark to have at least a 20% open rate and at least a 2% click-through rate. If you're not getting these numbers or anywhere close, then you're gonna to wanna to reevaluate your strategy, reevaluate how you're setting up your content, reevaluate the quality of your email list. Are you sending them the right stuff? Um, reevaluate your headlines and your preview text. If your open rates are low, try to get more people to open. If your click through rates are low, test out different calls to action, test out different types of products for different campaigns and different audiences to see who engages with what. It may take some time, but it's really just a game of testing and making sure that you are engaging your audience and then going back to both your individual campaign statistics as well as looking over your kind of campaign in a glance here is what I call it. Your, your campaigns, we can see all of them. So we see that all of these campaigns are achieving above average results for the most part, which is good. Now what we can do if we have one that was below average like this one right here, we could actually dive into that report and see what was different between that email and the other emails that have done better. So it's really about how much time you want to invest looking into the analytics and looking into the differences between different emails and different audiences and seeing who responds to what. But I would certainly encourage you to set the benchmark to have at least a 20% open rate or as close to it as possible and at least a 2% click through rate. If you are achieving those numbers, you are right there with the average, which is great. And then you can figure out how to keep those numbers climbing and get above average, which we always want to strive to do better. As always, if you have any questions, my email is listed down below. Feel free to shoot me a message. We also have a link down below where you can browse a huge library of content where you can learn everything you need to know about growing and marketing your business online. If you found this video to be helpful, please do consider liking or subscribing to the channel and we'll see you in the next video.